All right, Craft Beer Butte here, kicking it at the Pantese <laughs> Brew House and Grill. Uh, it's brew day over here, wasn't it? Yep. Had yep. a good time. What did you throw down today? Uh, actually, yeah, so we do, I don't know, if, for those of you who don't know, actually do a little bit of home brewing myself. Still learning the ropes a bit. Um, but yeah, today we actually brewed, um, it's based off of a, an American light beer, so almost some Pilsner malt, some Pilsner base, um, but I wanted to tweak it a little bit. So we brewed separately outside of the wort, um, a little bit of a green tea mixture. Threw the two together. We tried it out. I didn't think it was that bad, man. No, so yeah. and I'm only I'm only saying this because I know we've talked about it in the past. You wanted to review one of your beers. Yeah, I and did. Since I kind of had a little bit of a hand in this myself, we'll probably be doing that in a couple weeks. In a right? few weeks when this comes out, yep. look forward to Gabe's uh, American Light Green Tea uh, kit. That's cool. what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So today we're gonna actually review a beer from my hometown. Uh, coming from Uenta Brewing Company out in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is their 801 Pilsner. Uh, if everybody's familiar with Pilsner, it's going to have a lot of the uh, Pilsner malts. Obviously, it's very common with it. We didn't get to find a whole lot of specs on the beer. And I think some of it might be because it's it, this year yeah, it is was, when they first started brewing right, it. Right? It was released this year. And a lot of it came actually from the one actually... Some of the stuff that I've read is that some of the proceeds from this beer are actually going to go towards some nonprofit organizations that they deal with. Yeah. Uh, so great. this is actually labeled as more of a community type beer for them. Definitely only released in the 801 Salt Lake, either just all of Utah or Northern Salt Lake. But uh, if you're, you know, some of our viewers are watching, make sure if you give it, you know, see it on the shelves, give it a try. So and don't ask questions how we got a 801 only Utah beer in Arizona. No. We'll be asking questions like that. Santa was <laughs> nice enough this year. We were good enough to get some 801. Send one of his little elves out here. Little elves, little <laughs> trying, to get, trying to get out of the cold. Right, so if you want to get just on a couple of specs on the beer. Yeah, so like Londa was saying, the beer itself is a German Pilsner beer, which if you've heard some of our reviews before, I mean, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm going into it a little, a little biased. I'm just trying to keep it real because I'm not a big Pilsner fan. But again, keeping the mentality of the next beer I try, might be my next favorite yeah, beer. You have to um, try it. Yep, so the Pilsner is, uh, they use, uh, again, we couldn't find too much on the grain bill, but we did find some specs on the ABV. Um, it's a 4% uh, on the ABV, so by any means, it's not gonna, not gonna knock your socks off after one or two. Right. Um, and most Pilsners aren't. I mean, most Pilsners are pretty it's light. More known for a lighter beer. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's 21 on the IBU scale, so for those of you that have been following it, not gonna be a crazy hop forward, not a bitterness. It's going to be a clean, refreshing flavored beer, very drinkable, um, very light. So for those that are getting into the craft beer scene or you're tied to those commercial beers, you're looking for a beer to try to get into, that scale on the IBU is a very comfortable level to be at to try and it's not going to um, you know, it's not going to traumatize you by having some no. crazy flavor or anything One like that. One of those that. gateway craft beers that we've been trying to I mean, obviously get away from all the big commercial guys that we've known. Yep. Obviously, this is a home brew for 801 Salt Lake City. This is something you can kind of step away from it, give something else to try. You're going to get a lot of the same profiles, yep. flavor profiles. But again, it's small batch. They're distributing, obviously, but they're not distributing outside yeah. of uh, Utah. So. And, and what I respect a lot about it, whether it be from Utah, Arizona, Texas, Michigan, wherever, any brewery that supports its local community. I mean, you know Londo and I, we're really big supporters of Arizona breweries. Drink and, local. Where and, are you and, from? And keeping it local. I respect you uh, into for doing you know something and keeping it within their community helping out I forgot the name of the organization it's an avalanche an avalanche nonprofit organization yep. yeah in, in Utah I respect that significantly and and proceeds from the 801 Pilsner are actually going to help that uh, that charity out so I'm all for any brewery whether I like their beer or not any brewery that's willing to support their community and and pay, give back pay it forward yeah, exactly I, I'm all about that so I'm very excited to try their beer so we're gonna crack into this can uh, Gabe gave you a little look see here's the 801 right here actually you smell a lot of the malt some of that Pilsner malt um, which is more of a little bit of a dry, little bit of a crisp um, malt. You can actually smell it right when you open the can. Oh, yeah, of course. It should tell you a little something. Very ni nice and light, yep. crisp gold color. And sometimes too, I mean, I, I, I hate that some people see it this way, but it's, it's the reality. Sometimes when they see a dark beer, it automatically scares them away. I mean, I've been guilty of it too. I'm not yeah, going to sure. say it. So for those of you that 
are hesitant, don't know too much, well, what's a Pilsner, what's an IPA, what's this, what's that? Uh, most Pilsners are going to be your yellow straw color there. Very clean, uh, light-looking so beer. So if you're trying to get away again, I mean, I'm all, I'm all about trying to get people away from those big commercial brands that you see all over the place. So if you're trying to get out of that, stick to a Pilsner. That's what a lot of the commercial beers are based off of. Um, so the lighter straw color shouldn't scare you away by any means. Um, it looks very similar to what, uh, what you might be drinking and you might be tired of already. So. I like the smell. It's yeah. actually not as dry as some of the other ones I've Yeah, before, definitely. As far as smell goes. You taste a little bit um, of like a like a dry smell to it, but I mean, off the bat, I get a little bit of a citrus. I guess I, mean, I get some sweet notes in yeah, there. Yeah, it's sweeter. Um, you know, we've reviewed some of the IPA beers, some dark beers before, um, so we always talk about that bitterness and we talk about a strong, uh, you know, mouthful profile or, or, or nose full like a floral piney yeah. nope not going to get that with this so this is a beer that it's more of a sweet malty flavor yeah or some scent yeah. to it you know yeah for those of you getting into it it's not going to scare you away oh, no. like some of the other beers we might have reviewed let's give it a go man yeah. very clean you know i i I, that, that's a good beer. You know, I think one of the things we've talked about, I know like when we did, um, I think it was Left Hand, the Polster, Polster. Pilsner. Um, I mean, I voiced it then. One of the things with some of the uh, Pilsners that I don't like this is it's dryness. very dry. And for me, I like a beer to have a lot of flavor. And that's just that's just my forte. That's my two cents. But again, it's the style of beer. It's, a, yeah, it's totally so, different. Yeah, you, can't yeah. look, you can't look at a Pilsner and expect to get that, although there is a flavor. It's just a different type, type of flavor. Yeah, Pilsners aren't going to have strong malt bills. I mean, they're not going to, I'm not, well, I'm sorry, IP, or hop bills. They're not going to be hop forward. They're not going to be that. It's going to be more of the malt. Um, it's going to be a little bit more crisper and a little bit more, um, well, drier. Um, but it's going to have more, Cleaner taste Crisp, and low bitterness. A lot of Christmas to it too. Hence the low IBU. Right. Um, and what I was going to say with this, I mean, I taste a little bit of that dryness, but not what I've tasted with other pilsners oh, before. Uh, you know, when we've said before on, on the pil the pilsner that we have, I'm biased to pilsners. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to keep trying them because that's what we want you guys to do. Yep. We can't practice what we preach. We can't just send the message to you guys and just keep on, you know, reviewing beers that we would prefer to have. We have to give you a, a big gamut of, you know, inventory, uh, flavor profiles to choose yeah. from. And even if it's getting out of our comfort zone. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but you know what? Don't stop yourself from trying the beer yeah. either. I mean, that's what it's about. If you don't, you know, if you're not sure, just try it out. I yeah. mean, what's, what is it? Well, it's just one beer. Yeah, yeah. Worst, worst case, you waste, what, a couple bucks? A couple bucks on yeah. the beer. Yeah, and now you know that's not what you want. Keep on trying something else. That's well, what we're uh, all about. On a scale of one to five, what do you want to give it? Honestly, I mean, this has got to be one of the better Pilsners. That I've had. I agree. Um, so I'm gonna give it. Um, I'll give it. You know, I'll give it a four and a, four and a half, man. Four you know, half. really. I mean, it's again. It's it. It doesn't. It it's not my forte by 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 its name, a pilsner. It's not. You know, if I see a shelf of beers, I'm not gonna automatically reach for it. But I think of all the pilsners that I've tried, it's definitely up there. And I think again, I I would put it very much in the top. Uh, the, the the top uh, three or you know whatever of the pilsners that I've tried before definitely really good surprised me I thought it was going to be drier thought it was going to be more of a weak flavor to it but no it's a, it's a really damn good beer I was actually almost right alongside you I was, I was thinking is he going to say this number is he going to say <laughs> this uh, I'll give it about a four and a quarter okay you know uh, you know when we we taste these beers we don't want to get it uh, we don't talk about these beers uh, beforehand we always go into it we always have know how you know what we're looking for in mm -hmm. the beer but we always give you our opinion when we record these and yeah. it's nothing that's we have a pre-exempted you know determination of what we're going to say but it's right around the same yeah and I know Londo actually had these sitting in his fridge for a couple days so I know it was kind of and you're probably tempted a little bit, probably a little bit, but you know we want to give our honest opinion about it. That's one thing going into next year with some of our videos that we're doing next year that Londo and I want to do is there's some breweries that we just love and we want to spread the name of that brewery and, and let you try their beers. But next year, I think we're really going to start getting into some breweries that we might have never heard of, you might have never heard of. and Getting into more of the blind taste. Exactly. Test. And, let, and let's try it out. Again, our, my philosophy is all, the next beer you try out, might be your next favorite beer yep, so why not give it a shot but sounds well i don't know if i would have honestly i don't know if i would ever have said this but i think i tapped this beer 
Had it? That's right. It'd be the first time. Uh, well, with, with, the, <laughs> well, with, Pilsner, the, Pilsner, with right? the Pilsner style, this is what I'm getting yeah. at. With the Pilsner, I think I would tap this, and it's not because it's from the 801. I'm giving you my honest opinion. This is this is something I can drink. It's not as dry as some of the other ones I have. Uh, flavor, flavor profiles are similar to the same, but it leaves me with a little bit more uh, of wanting another drink rather than yep. just being totally dried out and kind of bummed out by it. I tap the shit out of this here. What did you say? Me too. I oh, tap it. Shit. I tap it. I really would. You know, again, I'm bummed out because we don't have it in Arizona. <laughs> so for those of you in Utah, you better grab the shit out of this beer because I might be making a little road trip just to pick some up. Well, but. and I've actually gotten some some opinions from folks when I posted some pictures on Instagram. Uh, I got some beer mail is, is what I posted out as, and there was a couple of comments on there. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's their opinion. I'm going to take it into consideration, but I have to form my own. Uh, you guys are spot on. Thanks for the heads up. I mean, this is definitely something that I wouldn't. I'm gonna finish this here real quick. Oh, easily. I think we got a couple. Maybe we got a couple more in the fridge. We, got, we might have a couple we'll more. Find we'll, we'll find some. We'll find some. might put a couple we'll some socks. <laughs> we'll find. We, we gotta get an elf hookup going in Utah <laughs> and find that out. Oh shit, man. Well, this is 801 from you Winter Brewing Company in Salt Lake. This craft review. Don't forget your growler. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We'll see you guys next time. This will probably be the last one before we post uh, something for the New Year's. Be safe out there driving. Enjoy family and friends. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Is this thing on?